Peace, blessings, love, and light. Welcome back to Deep Speak with Brother Sadiq. Um, I want to do a video today. I want to talk to my people, uh, black people right here in America. Um, black America, black America, get your ass out them streets. <laughs> Go in the house, okay? Go in the house. Let us utilize this energy in a different way. I mean, I just said it. I mean, I, I'm not going to front. I appreciate the efforts and the intentions and the uh, passion and, you know, your logic for being out there. But what I'm trying to tell you is that, it, you know, I mean, historically, that's not um, OK. I'm not, I'm not going to say historically it's not been effective because it has been effective. It's usually the only time anybody ever listened to us. So I'm not saying that's not a good thing in that sense. But what I'm saying is. At the end of it, we've done this in generations before. At the end of it, what is our plan of action for change? Okay. Okay, we got some details. And, 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 and the thing is, I'm wondering uh, who created this agenda for what we're working for? We got the, the cops blocked up. Of course, we wanted that. Now they're saying defund the police. And it's a bunch of other new, new topics coming up. But what is our agenda? Right? I would think our agenda should be reparations to be made whole as historically um, all other nations who have uh, been involved in things that have been detrimental to an entire race or community of people have done, including America. OK, the casinos are a form of reparations for Indians. Um, there was, I believe, 60 million given to Jews for uh, for the um, Holocaust Museum, and et cetera, et cetera. You can do the research yourself. But when you know, a black man comes to the table and talks about reparations, it's always some chaos and some BS in the middle. So what I'm thinking I'm seeing and what I'm not liking and what I'm hearing frustration in not only my voice, but, you know, I, I, I see other freedom fighters. I see other 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 soldiers, you know, this is soldier season. So um, I appreciate the soldiers in the street doing their thing because it's necessary. You got to put pressure there, too. But I want some of us to go in the house because that's not all of our you know, we don't we don't need all of us out there. In fact, like I said, I, I put forth a warning because um, I watched this other channel It's called Farsight Institute and they they pretty much gave a warning that um, there's going to be a chemical attack on one of these crowds in the street. I don't know what city and I don't know when, but sometime in, in the month of June is what the prediction was. So I mentioned that. So, you know, for that reason alone, take your ass in the house. OK, begin to focus your energy on your intention for what you would like to see come about, because. You know, we need some real change, okay? We talking about we got a couple of cops locked up, okay? They got choke hold laws and all this. Come on, man. This stuff is elementary, man. We can change the world into what we want it to be. Fully positive. You know, fully righteous. We can do that right now. We don't have to go on these, oh, it's going to take time. Man, get that out of my face. I'm tired of hearing that. That's been what the generations have been told. What we recognize now is that we have the ear and the eye of the entire world. We need to unify, put forward our agenda, which is what? Reparations? Is, is it, I, would, I would think that would be one of the most important things because it's universal. Um, we have to come together and unite and put forward our agenda. You know, we have to have some programming. We have to have some detailed programming where we can actually put funding behind that will actually produce something. So um, I don't want us to spend all of our energy. And then when it's all over, we go back to the trap house, right? Or you go back to the strip club, right? Everybody saw the video where the girl had the sparkler and her thing in front of her kids and her grandmama. Come on, man. This is the worst <laughs> you know, come on, man. We 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 getting we getting. Uh, come on, we gotta do better. We gotta do majorly better. So I'm just hoping after this is all over, you know, we we didn't we didn't pulled all of these people to our agenda and to our to our concern. What will we do with this energy? 
Don't let it be utilized by other people as it seems to be right now. You know, it seems like other people taking on uh, the power from your movement and utilizing it for their own agendas, you know. And so I'm not I'm not for that. I, I, I'm not with that. I don't agree with that. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, I'm a black man. I've been a black man. And ain't, I, I need to let this out because in history, it's obvious that y'all don't know what what's really going on because the rage that you see in the street it could be even more than that okay you got cats like me who 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 who, who saying don't go do this don't go riot don't go disrupt because you can utilize the energy to do something more but let me tell you something if you go to what i know based on history man i could be enraged i could go out here and and, and do a lot of damage because what it seems that White America don't understand. <clears throat> um, and uh, even some black people don't understand is some of us know what the fuck happened to us. OK. OK. Imagine, you know, you, 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 this is in my this is in the DNA, whether it's in my mind alone or it's in my DNA, because this is the theory. Right. They say that the uh, sharks. Um, the sharks. Hold in their DNA the times from slavery that they follow the trails uh, along the Middle Passage from where they used to throw the dead bodies over from slaves and um, the sharks follow this trail to, the, to this day because it was so many hundreds of years that they did this and that it's obviously uh, in the DNA of the sharks to still follow this trail based on the history of slavery. Now, I don't know if it's true. I've, I, 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 I'm, I'm just using this as an example because it's something that I read. And 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 so if the fact of the matter is that the shark holds in his DNA that uh, history, and, you know, it has to be also in my DNA, right? <laughs> right? And I think science has already proven that my grandparents' DNA and all the way back is, is here. So let me say this. If... I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a big black man, right? And I'm in slavery and I have a wife and I have children and physically I know I could go over here and break this motherfucker's neck, pick him up in the air, slam his ass over my motherfucking knee and break his back. I could destroy this motherfucker with my hands. But I can't touch him. He raping my wife. I can't touch him. He just took my kids and and, and took them from my home and I can't touch him. OK, this is, you know, this is you that that don't that don't just fucking go away. That's some shit that's in there. OK. So what you're seeing now is calm. What you're seeing now is. Is not what it could be. OK, it could be every, it could be it could be more. It could be worse. So this is this is this is, you know, uh. It's a heavy motherfucking weight to bear to be a black man in this bitch and not knock a motherfucker unconscious soon as they disrespect you. Okay? That's sometimes a heavy weight to bear, okay? Um, because of the history in this country, okay? I know my dignity. I know my worth. I know my value. But it's always something that I got to prove. I have to prove the quality of my character versus it being assumed that I'm okay, you know. Nah, you black, let me question you. Let me side eye you. Let me, you know, fuck y'all, fuck y'all. So I'm just saying that's 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 some shit too. Um <clears throat> so on some levels, um <clears throat> there is some uh, mighty powerful energies inside of black people in tolerating and in curbing and in sedating all of these feelings, all of these emotions, all of the passion of how you feel. And uh, it eats away at us. Whether we are conscious of it or not, it does. It, it literally eats away at us. And it's one of the many factors to 
um, the detriments of our health, okay? To our quality of living at all in this country. And so, um, not feeling respected, um, not, not, not feeling as though there are avenues for you to bring forward your ideas uh, and grow forward your community. And so, it creates a form of segregation irregardless of what your constitution says. And to go deeper, the Constitution had to be amended because originally you were not at all considered any form of citizen. And from my understanding of the Dred Scott Law, you are still not a citizen. You are uh, afforded laws in a court based only on the feeling of the judge who is ruling over your case. You have no legal standing um, because the Constitution has never been corrected. So, black people here in America have given their blood, their sweat, their tears, their ideas, their inventions, their loved ones <coughs> to uh, this nation through wars, through slavery, through you name it. There is a um, strand of the conscious black community that says that we are indigenous to this land, that we are original people of this land. And that through the years of miseducation and religious indoctrination, we've been transformed into what you see now. A nigga ain't nothing but what a white man made, okay? Yeah, that's reality. I hope you ain't get your feelings hurt with that, but that's what it is. A nigga is what a white man made. Nobody knew what a nigga was until a white man made him. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> niggas are your creation. And now these niggas loose. And I uh, would hope that your callous ass heart and your cold black heart would not pull a chemical attack on these people. I expect that it's going to happen, though. So this is another warning video. Get your ass out the street. Go in the house. Focus your energy on that which you hope to create because these people are utilizing your shit because you don't have an agenda. You don't have a manifesto. You don't have a constitution that you wish to create your community under. You don't have a list even of demands. You don't have an organization to put forward to carry forward your list of demands. So, we need to connect. We need to rebuild the Underground Railroad. We need to be able to move across the country, building each other, uniting each other, connecting with each other, supporting these programs, We need our, our great thinkers and our financial teachers and leaders. We need our, our celebrities to fund these programs. We need our celebrities to fund these contacts, connections, communities, unifications, because, sadly enough, those who are in our black community, the biggest influencers are celebrities. So we need our celebrities to shake the matrix, 
You've made enough money to be able to put your people forward. You've made enough money to say, fuck how you feel about me anymore. Fuck what you think about me anymore. I'm finna take this money and do some extremely strong black shit. That's what the fuck we need. We can't have y'all tiptoeing around the edges and shit. Um, I just hope that we can get this shit moving, man. Because, like I said, we like a fucking frog sitting in the water and the heat getting turned up around us. And it seems still like we not paying attention. Motherfuckers taking all of y'all energy and power that y'all got out in them streets. Transforming that shit into their own agenda. Because you don't have an agenda. And I, um, I started these videos because the creator inspired me to start these videos. And if you go back and look at the videos, all of the videos that I talked about, talked about where the fuck we are right now, how we got here, and what, um, what we should have been trying to do before this even happened. But now that it's happened, it's even more vital and important that we do it, that we connect with each other, that we unify with each other, that we begin to teach, you know, these programs that we already have. We have, you know, like I'm not famous, but this program is going to be monumental in its change. I know there are other uh, people who have <laughs> programs that will be monumental in their change. So, until we get together and start building for what we got to do, man, we're going to continue to suffer. You know, they confused y'all and threw y'all off y'all track with a little bit of money. Everybody got a little stimulus or whatever. Y'all got that little money and now y'all all confused again. You know, you got 15 tracks of ideas of, of thought that you're trying to enact. We got to do that shit one at a time. We got to get together and start to build and put the power behind one of them and make that motherfucker solid. And then we get the, the, the behind the other one and we make that solid. And we have a foundation in several places. And then we have a team and that makes us unified. And when we go forward to talk to any city government, we have a team of powerful people in positions that have already produced and proven. And then you, you, don't, you don't have to beg for shit. You're in a position of power. You have numbers. You have influence. You have financial support. But we ain't got none of that right now. And if we don't build that infrastructure soon, we ain't going to have a chance to build it. So, I wish I had a better energy to give, a better mood to give. But, hey, it is what it is. You know, we got to come together and start working on these dreams and these visions. Or... We can keep fighting against the matrix. That's a waste of time. Don't fight the matrix. Don't even spend your time fighting the matrix anymore. Give up. Don't let them. Look, man, this motherfucker's a shell on the way down. And if you let it fall, it'll fall. Don't put your energy in fighting it no more. Because it ain't about competition. This is time for cooperation. This is the season spiritually for our cooperation. So you don't have to worry about defeating that which is already on its way down. Let it be. But what you need to do is start working on what you will build that will be the support for what is the future. What is your vision for the future? What is your vision for the world? That's what we have to start bringing forward. That's what we have to start working on. That's what we have to start unifying about. So much love, big love. Um, black love. Black love equals black power. That is the only way we will get forward. Okay? Um... I think that's all that I need to say on this video. Salute to the soldiers who are doing their work. I see y'all out there. I, 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 I'm looking forward to us linking and getting forward with whatever we got to do. But let's get it done because time is short. Blessings. One love.